I'm sorry, did that last one hurt? <laughs> well, Al wasn't our safety word, was it? <laughs> we agreed on onomatopoeia. <laughs> There was a double standard with us sexually, which I thought was unfair. Like she was telling me all the stuff that she wanted one time we went to the sex shop. She's like, look, I want this, it's a bunny, and it does this, and I want this, it's a butterfly, and it does this, 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 this. like this whole wall of crap. I'm telling her I'm thinking about getting one thing there, and she goes, ooh, you're a pervert. And I go, wait a second, why did you, am I a pervert? She goes, the reason that women have to get these utensils is they cannot find a guy that can properly take care of their needs when we need them taken care of. I mean, you realize how much bull crap that is, right? Because it's you, you that decide when we have sex, okay? Because if I decide when, there's family charges and crap. <laughs> it's not fair. She makes, her watch, she makes me watch crappy TV, whether anybody, any other guys watch crappy TV with your girls. She makes me watch a Mark Pelford show with her all the time. And I thought it was a good idea. I thought it was good to watch it with her because I thought some jokes would come out of it, but no, nah, it's just a lot of pain. Um, until one day, okay, and it made me mad, though, because the TV blanked off. It, like, something happened and the cable screwed up, and I was, and, and normally I'd be like, yes. But in this instance, the show had me hooked. They brought in two people, and they're like, this is Jessica, and this is Rebecca, uh, this is Jessica, and this is Steven. And they sit them down, and Jessica goes, me and my boyfriend Steven have a Dr. Seuss fetish, and then, boop, leaving me now there, not knowing what in the hell that could possibly what in the hell is that? Is that my boyfriend gets dressed up like a cat in a hat and then sex by the wall saying, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. <laughs> then we just lays down on the bed and goes, come over here, baby, it's time to hop on pop. <laughs> are there things that are off limits in, that, in their sex life with that stuff that weird? And do you say it like Dr. Seuss? Do you ever go, you're not sticking that thing one in my thing too? <laughs> Donald didn't get that joke, should read a book. <laughs> I love how I say that like they're novels. <laughs> like, Fox in the Sock spoke to my soul. <laughs> Whole years of who changed my life. <laughs> Green eggs and ham got me home for heroin. <laughs>